Hello and welcome. Regression or linear regression, classical approach, and now we are going to discuss something about the lines of regression or equations of the lines of regression. First of all, what do we mean by the term line of regression? Line means a line on graph paper. What is line of regression or regression line? The line of regression is the line which gives the best estimate of the value of a dependent variable for any known value of independent variable. I would like to repeat, the line of regression is the line which gives the best estimate of the value of the dependent variable for any known or available value of the independent variable. We have two dependent as well as independent variables. So logically there are two lines of regression. If we take variable y as dependent, x as independent, then it will be the line of regression of y on x. And that is the line which gives the best estimate of y, the dependent variable, for any known value of x, the independent variable. Similarly, when we believe that x is dependent on y, then the line of regression of x on y is there and it is the line which gives the best estimate of the value of x, the dependent variable, for any known value of y, the independent variable. The standard form of the equation of y on x is y cap or y e in the subscript or c in the subscript, whatever your teacher suggests you y equals to a plus bx where a is a constant value which can be calculated separately or which can be arrived at at the end of the calculation process whatever formula we use and b stands for byx see this is the straight line because it is linear relationship we have assumed the linear relationship between the two variables see this is exactly like the concept of equations of the straight line in case of um, say algebra or the formula was y equals to mx plus c the same thing is there the same format because this is an equation of the straight line in coordinate geometry we have already learned, we have already studied the equations of the straight line, coordinate geometry. The standard form is y equals to mx plus c. Similar thing is there. In case of this equation, m stands for the slope of the straight line. Similarly, in this case, the coefficient of regression stands for the slope of, constant slope of the straight line. So, now we have another interpretation or another term for the coefficient of regression. Coefficient of regression means the slope of the line of regression. Coefficient of regression means the slope of the best line. Remember these terms, the paper setter may use these terms just to confuse or to make the question, say make the easier question somewhat tough. Instead of using the term coefficient of regression, your paper setter may use the term find out the slope of the baseline, find out the slope of the line of regression. Yes? Okay. Now, how to find out this equation for any pair of the observation, say two variables x and y? There are two ways. One is the classical way, which I think would have been suggested by Carl Pearson or his disciples and according to that the formula is y minus y bar equals to b y x into x minus x bar so we should have three values x bar y bar and b y x that is coefficient of regression of y on x Substitute in this formula and simplify, ultimate result will be in this format. Or another formula, nowadays in the textbooks of many educational state boards or say central board or universities or reference books for the university courses are 
suggesting another formula in which first we have to calculate A separately and then we have to substitute A as well as BYX in this standard formula. According to that A is A equal to C. It is Y minus BX. If we substitute Y bar and X bar and BYX it will be Y minus BX. Y, y bar minus B for BYX into X bar. We have to substitute all the three same things into this formula the result will be A and then we have to substitute A the constant value and the BYX into the standard form ultimately we shall have the equation of the line of regression of y one a for the data we have. Similarly in this case The first formula is the classical formula x minus x bar equals to bxy into y minus y bar. This is the older formula. Nowadays the formula which is used by most of the teachers and suggested in most of the textbooks or reference books is we have used the sign C. C equals to what is C? It is X minus BY. X is X bar. B is BXY. And X bar minus BXY into Y bar. Now through this formula we can have this constant value of C and BXY substitute both of them into the standard form. The result is the equation of the line of regression of x on y for the data we have. In this way we can find out the equations of the lines of regression of y on x as well as of x on y. For that purpose we should have four different values. One is x bar mean of variable x, another is y bar mean of variable y, byx that is coefficient of regression of y on x, bxy the coefficient of regression of x on y. Now in many reference books a topic has been separately discussed. Why there are two lines of regression? One reason we have already discussed a primary level thinking. Since in correlation we have assumed that x and y both are independent as well as dependent on each other at the same time so we have a set of two independent variables and two dependent variables and regression is nothing it is logical extension of the concept of this correlation or linear correlation we can have two again two sets of dependent and independent variables so everything is two coefficients of regression two of y on x when y is dependent x is independent of x on y when we believe x dependent and y independent similarly we can have two lines of regression or two equations of lines of regression on the basis of the same logic but another angle is also there why we have two lines of regression and that is i'm trying to explain it by making it as easy as possible say if we have data about two variables two correlated variables if we plot the sample points on a graph paper we know that scatter diagram now what is regression line or line of regression the line of regression is the line which passes through exactly in the uh, sorry from the center of all the sample points a very strange topic is there from the center of all the sample points what do we mean by that that means the distance between the line and the sample points is minimum how can how can we measure if we draw a line and measure the distance between sample point and line, the line for which this distance is minimum is called the baseline. It is very tough to find out that kind of line or to draw that kind of line for this or any other data. 
how can we let us suppose this is the best line if we measure the distance between the line and the sample points for the purpose of checking the condition that the distance should be minimum now what is the sign of minimum distance these distances can be expressed as negative these distances can be expressed as positive and the summation of negative as well as positive should be zero or in other words if we square we get the squares of all these distances the square of all these summation of the square of all these distances should be minimum this is called the method of least squares the summation of the squares of the distances must be the least or the lowest that kind of line only is the best line and that should be treated as the line of regression but every time with every data to find out this type of line through trial and error method is not at all feasible but another thing if for the same data if for the same data i am not going to draw another graph but i am going to use the um, say pair of a different color say another line such that the vertical or uh, horizontal distances are minimum because reference of distance can be considered <coughs> with two bases horizontal as well as vertical if we consider the distance between the line as well as the sample points horizontally that means parallel to x axis then this is called line of regression of x on y and when we consider the distance between line and sample point parallel to y axis then it is called line of regression of y on x so we can measure the distance between the sample points and the line parallel to x axis as well as parallel to y axis to get the minimum summation of the squared values of the distances we can have two lines of regression on the basis of this possibility or this logic when we measure the difference between sample point and line on the basis of the x axis to get the baseline that is the line of regression of x on y and when we measure the distance between the sample point and the line parallel to y axis that is the line of regression of y on x but as i have already told that every time this is not at all feasible and that's why there is statistical or mathematical technique in mathematics i think you would have already studied the method of least squares to find out the equation with standard equations this is statistical method ultimately at the end both are same the results are same equation of a straight line in statistics carl pearson suggested some different way i think that is easier but it is not important which part is easy we need to say learn or study everything as a part of our course or our studies so this is a brief explanation about the question why are there two lines of regression in statistics we are going to use any of this formula to find out the equation of the line of regression of dependent variable on the independent variable but i 
think this is also useful or this is also required to know why there are two regression lines because on the basis of this concept the mathematical technique of the method of least squares was developed how to measure <coughs> the distances how what is the say criteria of believing that the distance between the sample points and the line is minimum now what is the examination of this line of regression whether this is best or not the point of examination or point of testing any line whether it is best or not is substitute the original values of the variable in this line <coughs> find out the difference between the original values and the estimated values find out its square that square should be minimum through this line we directly we can have the minimum total of the squared values of the differences directly if this is minimum or not we want to check that then we have to take another equation we have to find estimated value through that equation we have to find the differences and squared values of the differences between actual value original value and the estimated value and then we can know that the difference rather square of the differences between actual value and estimated value is minimum in case of this equation only so through this technique or technique of least squares we can directly arrive at the best line i think this is sufficient or more than sufficient at this stage being you are students of grade 11 or 12 or under graduation that's it thank you